یانس یانشا نخست وزیر اسلوونی تا جوان 2022 رهبر حزب دموکراتیک president Inside Iran, it exists in the form of the mixed resistance units, and abroad, it exists in the form of the National Council of Resistance of Iran. Mrs. Mariam Rajavi has guaranteed all democratic values in her 10-point plan for a future free Iran. The plan unders underscores the need for a secular, non-nuclear, and democratically elected republic, that rejects both the Shah and the Mullahs. It seeks to set up a pluralistic society that respects women's rights, minority rights, rule of law and peaceful foreign policy. That is precisely what Iran and the world need in order to avoid the nuclear and terrorism nightmare of the Mullahs regime. It's high time that Western governments should recognize these acts of bravery and the right of the Iranian people to live in freedom. So, we are strongly against the latest instance of appeasement by Belgium. The shameful so-called treaty signed with the Iranian regime is allowing it to free the regime's convicted diplomat terrorist, Azdola Hassad. This Belgian proposal is only involved and encourage Tehran's agents to conduct more acts of terrorism and violence, both against the Iranian people and the international community, including in European capitals. Let me conclude saying what I have said many times before. The Iranian people deserve democracy, freedom and human rights and should be firmly supported by the international community. The Iranian regime must be held accountable for human rights violations and the international community must be firmer in this. Dear friends, you can always count on my understanding and support. Thank you for your attention.